Eight. I get a haircut every week, so definitely tandem blood. You get a haircut 100%. every week? Nikki, maybe you don't have like a hair loss problem. Maybe you're just getting too many hair. <laughs> yeah, you're just constantly receding. getting <laughs> yeah. From yeah. receding to receding. receding on, bro. What are you getting a haircut for every week? Besides, you look like ultra Miami right now. I look like I could the fuck your bitch. Monster? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> nice pack and forth. Certainly yeah, not. <laughs> good Great banter. volley there, <laughs> gentlemen. Okay, welcome to The Bracket, episode 137. Today we are debating a mush special. Yes. A very special one. We're calling it, I mm -hmm. believe, things that you wouldn't notice go extinct, basically. Do you have like a better way of describing it? it? What would you, if, if an object or something in the world wasn't there anymore, would you have any idea? It was yeah. gone. Exactly. This was a very hard one to think of because it's kind of an oxymoron. Because like, you that... shouldn't be able to think of things that would fit this criteria. But the, it someone, was an interesting thought exercise, but uh, I found it, I just kind of threw together a list because it's shit that I had to think about. I, you had to think about shit you didn't care about. Yeah. yeah. Which is hard. But that thing you quote tweeted on Twitter, it's probably perfect. in there, is like one of the, that was oh, actually a well, perfect was it? thing. Oh, don't, don't, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. You're gonna, we're going to work our way there. These are all objects? Yeah, uh, object thing. It's nouns, I would guess, say. Now, nice. like, how long would it take you to realize no one says good morning anymore? Ooh. Wow. I think pr a week. So there's some things that are more abstract like that, I would a guess. Week, yeah. yeah. There's one thing I think on here that's definitely more, it's not a noun. It's a verb. So we can add that in there. Um, before we get to our first ad, though, I will note, and I mentioned this to you in our chat earlier, Nick. Oh, uh, wow. Somebody gave, sent you these credit card things. Yeah. It's covers with Yu-Gi-Oh things, and Obelisk the Tormentor is the one you gave me. So yeah. I had an interaction with it. Me and my fiance were bored. We're like, let's go to the bowling alley. We're out in like Jersey. And we go there and I paid for our thing with the Obelisk, the Tormentor card. And she looked at me. She gave me the stink eye. She's like, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. Why would you do that? And this group, the, as the cashier goes with the card, of like young, uh, I would say, I was like 18, 19 year olds, the nerdiest looking guys ever. They're like, that's the coolest fucking card <laughs> I've ever yes, seen in dude. my life. Like they literally mm -hmm. walk up to me and like, where did you get that? And I was like, I don't know. It's cool, right? And, my, and oh my God, you should have seen Isabel's face, dude. She was just heart trodden. She got owned by the so, uh, Does 18 year old nerd saying it's cool like help the case? Though? It did because it was just a group. <laughs> yeah. Any group of people saying something's cool enough times makes it cool enough, I guess. It's a numbers game. Yeah. Mine uh, eventually it, it fell off from inserting chip too much. Mm. I'm a shopaholic, so I lost my, my Charizard. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Uh, they are really cool, though. Uh, but before we get into this bracket, let's talk about Body Armor. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Body Armor Zero Sugar, the new, brand new Body Armor Zero Sugar sports drink from our friends over at Body Armor. Provides real hydration with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or dyes. Whether you're looking to stay hydrated or recovering from a long weekend, Body Armor Zero Sugar has got you covered with great tasting flavors like fruit punch and lemon lime. I mention it every time. Don't know how they figured out lemon lime. Oh, and another one. This is a different Body Armor drink. Uh, it's Body Armor Flash IV. The guess, do you see this flavor, Jay? That's very good. It's yep. very yeah. good. Yep. Uh, I like the kiwi strawberry. You like that what over? That? This is this is uh, Pepino. This is your thing, is it not? They got lime cucumber. Yeah, this is a cucumber lime right here. <laughs> oh, we don't have that in our office. Oh, we have this. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, the what the fuck? Oh, 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 the oh, oh. What's his name? Mike, the Body Armor guy. Oh, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Mike Rapino? No, wait. Yeah, that, is that's, that's, that's his name? Mike Rapino is the guy that owns Body Armor. Yeah, Rapino. Yeah. Uh, oh, was, like, oh, like, oh, okay. Gotcha. Rapino? I thought you were fucking. Um, yeah. But yeah, no. I thought you were saying his name was Mike Rapino. That's yeah, what I thought you were saying, too. too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's what I thought you were saying. Rapino. <laughs> uh, he was in Mike Brain. Ra I thought you were saying his last name is Mike Rapino. His last name is not Mike Rapino. Did he not say Mike Rapino? I don't think his last name is Rapino. Oh, Rapoli. Rapoli. Mike Rapino. I was thinking of Mike Rapino. That dumbass soccer player. That's what I thought you were fucking saying, and I was like, oh, I can't make fun of that if that's the guy. Mike uh, Rapoli, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. He knows that American dude. hater. Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, but the cucumber lime tray, very good. Very, very good. Lemon up a bean. Yep, you're one of your favorites. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Check out Body Armor Zero Sugar as well. Get yours today at Walmart or a local grocery store near you. We love Body Armor here. You see it and every time you're watching a Barstool video. You're guaranteed to see Body Armor somewhere. Um, we've got three right in front of us right now. Uh, but let's move into the bracket. we got a whole bunch of stuff to get to. First up, we have the number five seed versus the 12 seed. Which thing would you not notice going extinct overnight? First one being the number five seed, Tandem Bikes. I like this one a lot. Ten, so bikes, that's the one with the two seats on the same bike. I definitely would not so, notice this, I don't think. Never. <laughs> My parents got one for their 30th wedding anniversary. So I ha we have one in our house, and I would ride it all the time. Purchased one. They purchased one. Yeah, we have one. Wow. <laughs> and uh, me and my boy Cleveland would go on it, and we would rip it because you would pedal both as fast as you can, and it goes twice as fast. They're a blast. Really? Would you notice, though, if you never saw a tandem bike again? 
No. Yeah. But you would know, he would. noticed about he'd go in his garage. He'd go, where the fuck my tandem bike? There's a tandem bike at the house this week. Oh, tandem bikes are when I picture tandem bikes, I picture literally a shore, like a, a boardwalk or yeah. like a beach. Yeah. But like I would, I wouldn't yeah. be like, where is all the tandem bikes? <laughs> Everybody's riding solo on these bikes. Yeah. Well, bikes are a Hear sham, me out, gentlemen. Now too. I would notice tandem bikes were missing before unicycles were missing. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Do they still have pegs on the back of bikes? Oh, yeah. I feel like I haven't seen that anymore. Bikes are a sham, though, now. No one rides them. They just, it's all like motorized. Mopeds, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's just stupid. Yeah. Would unicycles count? Like, what are those motorized ones you see, like, the idiots riding the, in the city on? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the one wheels? Yeah, the one wheels. Is that. Eh. I've never seen a cool guy doing I that. Ever. Those. Mm mm. Uh, and that's going up. Tandem bikes is going up against the number twelve. See one of Nick's spinning barbershop poles. Those little yeah <laughs> blue, blue and red poles that just spin in front of a barbershop. No, I would one. These, these are all going to be never. <laughs> what are you talking about? I would ever. You would definitely I would, I would notice, notice that. that. I like those a lot, but I Me don't too. know if I would notice. They you were would gone. notice. I love it. them. What do you mean? How, in what way would you notice? I would have been like, like where, oh, that barber doesn't. Yeah, I'd be like, where all, where are all the poles? poles? I notice that now if a barber shop doesn't yeah. have that. No, you don't. I agree. 100%. You wouldn't think twice. You'd be like, that's just another barber shop. No, <laughs> I'm with Nikki. Like, no I, I would notice if I don't. I almost like, I respect the barber shop more if they have it. That has one. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. agree. So, so let's start with you, Marty. Tandem bikes or spinning barbershop poles? Uh, Why does that exist, by the way? Was that for the illiterate to show that it's a barber shop? I don't know. I would love to know that. Maybe that's why Marty loves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, couldn't read Barbara. But it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it also just be in like a scissor? Like that, you don't see that yeah, and you're right. like, oh, haircut. No. Because that's why, um, would, like, would you, like, what if Barbicide left? What's like that? the little bl blue goo the that blue, they put in the... The blue uh, thing that I've never seen a barber actually use. It's like you put in the... Um, they keep the combs yeah, and shit. Yeah, oh, I like that it too. I yeah. think I would notice that. I'd be like, where'd you get that comb from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not, yeah. I'm going tandem bike. Tandem bike. The barber pole, by the way, it's been tradition going back to the Middle Ages. I didn't know they had barbers in the Middle Ages. What? Uh, oh, yeah. Staff or a pole. It would hold on to it. Yeah. Uh, damn. Damn. Just like a whole, grip it to where there was a uh, insanely long Wikipedia for barber poles, like way too. It's aviation and space flight is a tab for it somehow. Uh, so barber pole or tandem bikes in one vote. I'm gonna go smokes. tandem bikes too. I think there's a chance that I might like see a barber shop that I've been to when I know it has a big. Oh, I wonder where that went. Mm -hmm. Very, very minuscule, less than one percent chance, but quicker than I would ever utter. Man, where whatever happened to those tandem all, bikes? All those tandem bikes. So do, I'll go with tandem bikes. Do you like those things in like what are those things in Nashville that they always ride on like bachelor parties? Oh, do you know what I'm like talking about? Those, is that tech? No, no, no. no. The, oh, um, the pedals. The, the pedal, pedal things. Oh, those super are great. bikes. Super bikes. That's not considered a tandem bike, right? Tandems only two. No, the bikes like yeah, the pedal. The, you pedal yeah. and you drink. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those are great. Uh, che. those are awful. Um, I would definitely notice the barber holes missing. So. I mean, a bunch of us moved to Chicago within the last year looking for a new barber, like, in, in, especially here, a lot of things are in, like, kind of strip malls. Yeah. So if you see, like, barber here and you don't see that sign, you're just like, where the fuck is this place? So, yeah, I, I would I'd be looking for the, <laughs> yeah, the spinning. I'm with you, baby. <laughs> Three for tandem bikes, none for spinning barbershop poles. Nick? I'm an honorable man. I'm going tandem bikes. Ooh, switching the vote. Tandem bikes, one vote, KB. We're voting what we'd be less likely to notice. Yeah. Wait, what? Do you guys? Um, right. Which one? You, which one? You wouldn't notice? notice if they were gone. Yeah, if it was gone, you wouldn't notice. I wouldn't notice. Yeah, if they were gone. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, voted yeah, yeah, tandem bike. Got yeah, it. making yeah. sure. How am yeah. I getting confused with my own one? <laughs> D the barber shop you go to now does it have the spinning pole? Yeah, mine, mine does. Mine doesn't. I just went to one in, I'm gonna in go Chicago, Chicago too. It was oh, yeah. great. Mm. You gonna go tandem, uh, KB? Oh, I, both never. Both would be lifetimes. Yeah. Lifetimes. But I'll, I'll go tandem bike less likely. Tandem bike. Nick? Nicky. I get a haircut every week, so definitely tandem bike. You get a haircut 100%. every week? You Jeff Basically. Lowe it? What are you getting well, a If it's something personal for? to your life experience, <laughs> maybe. Like, yeah. where is the barber pole at my barber shop. Nikki, maybe you don't have, like, a hair loss well. problem. Maybe you're just getting too many hair. Yeah, you're just constantly receding. getting hair <laughs> yeah. From receding to receding, receding on, haircut. bro. What are you getting a haircut for? It, it's, really, it's really for my beard. It's for, like, my beard and my side fade. I don't really touch the top every week. It's just the sides. You look like ultra Miami right now. Mm. 
I look like I could the fuck your bitch. Monster? <laughs> Certainly not. Oh, nice back and forth. Yeah, not. Good Great banter. volley there, you gentlemen. Like Great a volley. Music festival. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a music festival. Uh, okay. uh, Tandem Bikes is going to move on, though. Uh, and now we have the four seed versus the 13 seed. The four seed is Nichols. This is one of Nick's, actually. And a couple other people yeah. as well. Nichols, I agree. That doesn't count. fun that one, doesn't count, but I would though. notice. Mm. Why? Change is going extinct. But like, I think it counts. It's, there's no I mean, it exists right now. But like, all other change has is prominent in popular culture. Lucky Penny calling somebody a dime, throwing a good pass mm -hmm. as a dime. Mm -hmm. uh, quarterback. Quarter machine. Quarterback. Uh, there's nickel package maybe in football, but uh, you don't. Nickels are the forgotten of the coinage other than the Easily. 50s. There is the nickel back way. joke. Frank's Nickelback joke. Frank does. Yeah, yeah Frank, Frank would does do. have the Nickelback. Frank joke. would notice the first second <laughs> yeah. they disappeared. Uh, and Nickels are going up against number thirteen seed. Uh, this is one of Tommy's preset iPhone apps. It's like the ones you just never ever like use. You get the rid of the Keynote app. Oh, oh yeah, like mm. uh, shortcuts. Yeah, shortcuts. Yeah, quick I look links. Keynote shortcuts, files, numbers, and pages. Yeah. Oh. I use files. Especially the Keynote app, I would never notice if that was gone. No. Pages. Garage was, Band. You clips. Might, you might clips. notice that. You wouldn't notice if the Keynote app was out. Like, off your phone deleted and, like, you didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah would, I'm going to get rid of them right now. Yeah. Uh, so, Nichols versus these preset iPhone apps. Start with you, Nikki. Um, I get Nichols and Quarters mixed up all the time. So I would definitely notice if Nichols Wait. disappeared. <laughs> Wait, how? Mm. No, like at first glance, like oh, I, I needed a quarter for my for the Lucy vending machine. I like might grab one real quick. And I'm like, oh fuck, this is a nickel, and then I got to go back and get a quarter. Fair. Um, so I would definitely go the apps that I've never opened. The apps. That, have you? Uh, do you know what the Keynote app is? Yeah, it's like that fake wannabe PowerPoint. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, chat, KB. I think. Um, I think I could go years without noticing the nickel, and then I, I'd probably naturally end up in a big jumble of change and figure it out eventually, but nickel, yes. The other one, which was what? A preset iPhone apps, like the key, the keynote and all that shit. Never, so um, that. <laughs> Never once, two for the preset uh, iPhone apps, Nick? The preset iPhone app. So I... I'm deleting them right now, and it feels so good. Mm. Uh, che? Can you do that? Yeah. I didn't know you could delete them. It used to be, I think, that you could, and now I, I the last phone I got, I deleted all of them, and I didn't know you could. I'm pretty sure you could delete your text message, messaging app now if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, you could just delete everything. I just put That would be a fun prank to borrow somebody's phone and delete their text message. <laughs> <laughs> Use your phone really quick. <laughs> Lose all your nudes, that'd be terrible. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jay? <laughs> um... Yeah, the, the, the pre-stored iPhone, I've never opened those once, so those can go kick rocks, and I really? wouldn't notice. I would have thought that you, actually, no, the more I'm thinking, I was going to say I would have thought that you would have used them, but the fact that you used the bought f flashlight app until, like, last year <laughs> kind of dispelled me of that pretty Absurdity. quickly. Absurdity. Yeah. I use the Notes app, which I guess is a preloaded one. No, that's a useful like enough everyone one. everyone uses that app. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. but, like, yeah, yeah, the keynotes and all that, forget it. I'm going to delete those right now. Exactly. Tommy? Yeah, I, th I mean, nickels are useless, but I do think of, like, the first time where I got change back somewhere that was nine cents and they handed me, like, nine pennies, I'd be like, that's weird. Mm. Like, what happened, to, what happened to nickels? So I think I might eventually get to that. Uh, I would never notice if the Keynote app or all these other forgettable ones that I only know because I looked them up earlier <laughs> disappeared. So another one for iPhone apps. I'm going nickel. You're going nickel? I, I don't think I'd ever have any idea. I don't really get used cash enough, I feel like, either, too. It would take yeah. me a long time. Yeah, it would take a long time. Uh, either way, iPhone apps is going to move on. Now we have the 8 seed versus the 9 seed. The 8 seed is Welcome Mats, another Nick one. Welcome Mats, I agree. I don't think I would. Yeah. It would take me a long time to realize that they vanished forever. And that's going up against the number 9 seed, Handkerchiefs. Marty and I just noticed different yeah, things. Yeah, I hate Welcome Mats, so I, I, I always point them out, be like, how fucking stupid are these things? So that's why I, I bought one last week. And how mm -hmm. stupid And it just annoyed me. I was, <laughs> yeah. I never think about them. And that's going up against handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs. Oh, I would have no oh, idea God. handkerchiefs mm -hmm. are gone. People still use them, though. Never. I, grew, I grew up a hanky kid when oh. I was sick. I would take one to school. <laughs> Ew. Uh, I don't even rub get... Your snot yeah, like, what do you do with it after? What? You blow your nose in it. You put it in the washing machine. That's crazy. Well, that's so gross. What tissues exist? Was I poor? 
<laughs> yeah, like reusable. It's so <laughs> my grandpa, my dad. I we were all I, reusable napkins. I would just go, tucked I, away in your shirt. I would go to school when I had like a cold with a hang. That's crazy. It's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're you might have been ghetto. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. bad. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's ratchet. <laughs> uh, so welcome mats versus handkerchiefs. Handkerchief. 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 I think, I think it's handkerchief. Handkerchief. I handkerchief. Handkerchief. I say handkerchief. Kerchief. Handkerchief. Yeah. But there's an I E in there, right? Now are we counting the things that you stuff in like a tuxedo pocket? No, I don't think that's I thought kerchief. about that. That's I don't a pocket think that's square, a handkerchief. Right? Yeah, that's is that a pocket not what we're talking it, about. No, it's like, like a, a snot like cloth. I, mine was like a bandana. I thought handkerchiefs go kind of like in your suit, like inside. In the suit. That's a kerchief. Handkerchiefs back jean pocket. Yeah, what the you fuck is a kerchief? Wait, what? Kerchief is what you put in the suit. So what you put in a suit is not a handkerchief. Hold on. A kerchief. That kerchief is what you put in the front suit pocket. Nah, you're tripping. Handkerchief. What do you blow your nose in? Handkerchief. I thought it was a, a kerchief. I thought it was a pot, pocket You're square. Wait, are these positive. two different things? A handkerchief <laughs> is a form of a kerchief or a bandana, typically hem squared yeah. for personal hygiene purposes, so, such as wiping your nose. Yeah, this that's was in the same family. This was Chase, right. I believe. Chase, no, this what, was which hand? Oh, yes. your sorry. Oh, well, maybe we both said it. I guess. So, which handkerchief did you it's guys mean? The the thing in the the suit pocket that like typically in. Not, I don't think anyone actually does this, but you blow your nose. No, in Nick it, so like, just said he did. I <laughs> meant <laughs> I did in school. I used to. Not in the suits, though. I would, okay. I would have like a white like cloth that I would bring into. God damn, a white, cloth. <laughs> like I would use handkerchiefs. I, st I bet you, I still have handkerchiefs at home. We had a drawer where my mom would go and fold them. So where would you put them on your body? Back pocket. So again, we're saying specifically not the fashion one. We're saying the 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 operational snot one. The personal nose. hygiene handkerchief. Yeah, personal hygiene handkerchief versus welcome mats. We have one vote for handkerchief. I'm Stop. going handkerchiefs too. Welcome mats. I also don't care for. Don't think I would notice. But my next door neighbor, like in my apartment building, does have a, a welcome mat that I always look at, and I'm like, that's when I'm at my floor because I have a lot of flights of stairs to walk up. So oh, there it is. So if that was gone, I might be like, oh yeah. My gone. old apartment neighbors were the, had the Salazars on there, mm -hmm. and one day it wasn't there. I was like, oh my god. You know, it's, yeah. such a cool last name. So I'm Salazar. going yeah. Hanker, handkerchiefs. Yeah. Handkerchiefs. Jay. Yeah, I have a welcome out of my house. I think I've always had a welcome out of my house. So, uh, nice. yeah, definitely handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs. Nick? These are both kind of the same level for me. Good matchup. I'll go handkerchiefs, but I, I, they're pretty commonplace for me. Four for handkerchiefs, <laughs> JKB. Uh, I could be already be experiencing this with a handkerchief. What do you mean? I haven't seen one since Jack Savage had one in, when he was like early 70s. <laughs> early 70s. So, so I don't know the last time I've seen a Hank. You never saw Nick one using the one in school? I brought one to St. Vincent's all. Yeah, that's decades ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Handkerchief. Handkerchief, Nikki? I think I could get to welcome Matt eventually. Gotcha. I feel like I'd notice if welcome mats disappeared because every time I'm drunk and walk home, like I always trip over my neighbors. So I'd be like, oh, I didn't fall down this time. This is nice. So handkerchief for sure. I like that you're sure. visiting people's houses. I do wipe my feet before going in. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's not too. really me noticing. It's almost like reflex. Mm -hmm. uh, handkerchief is going to move on. Now we can do our chain game. Uh, and we have two of them today. One of them is more just like, I'm not sure if this is like a confused thing here. Uh, I like this option. First chain option is the one friend that never talks in the group chat. I feel like mm. a lot of different people have That's at least one, one of those. Mm -hmm. One person has never. So responded. one of my friends in the group chat disappeared <laughs> from Earth. I like <laughs> it because it's funny and not thought out at all. Because like if that person disappeared, you would definitely notice. Oh, but it's the person. Yes. I feel like it's or if they leave the group text. chat. I think I've had a group text where we were, we were talking shit about the guy who forgot. Like I, we forgot he was in the, in the chat, group chat still. We were talking shit about him. And he was like, and he answered uh, for the first time in years. Oh Dang. my god! Then you gotta play it off. Be like, oh, we. We, we did that it. for you. To we're answer. just trying to see if yeah, you were noticing. That's exactly yeah. what we did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so the the friend again is the one disappearing, going, is not existing forever. So I don't think that one is. A lot of these aren't too too. Uh, to, so he dies. Not dies. Disappears forever. Like uh, Thanos. Yeah, snapped. Thanos yeah, snapped. He's it. gone forever. Uh, Dead. Okay. Mush put bar of soap. Yeah, yeah bar of soap. That's disgusting. Mm. I just use <laughs> liquid soap, like the bottles of soap. I don't use bars body of soap. Wash. Body wash. Body wash. I think we would know. What about like, uh, no like hotels? Idea. Hotels? No, I, they all, mostly all now have, have like the. the oh, but they give it to yeah. you to wash your thing, to wash your hands. I guess. I just yeah, don't think I would notice if everything was just turned into liquid, like body wash. You would be like, you would have no idea. I don't know. I, I still don't mind the bars. I think bar of soap's kind of disgusting. I don't use it anymore. I, like I feel cleaner after my bar. ass. 
Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> and then you use the soap bar of soap like later or no. You just had ass and throw it away. Yep. Wait, wait. My ass you bar. take single use? Yep. You're talking about the hotel soap. Just any bar of soap strictly for my ass. So wait. you one swipe credit card swipe your asshole and then and just then, throw it away. Liquid. You don't throw it away. You use that over my, and over. It's my ass. You have an ass bar. bar. Yeah. Yeah. How many times? How, how many times? Many, so so you just, how many times does it clean your how ass before you throw it out? Till it runs out. Yeah. Till it disappears. Yeah. Oh, it's literally do for your ass. So you're eventually using a little, a little piece. Have you oh, what? Have you ever oh, used then. a full bar like it just when it actually disappears? Yes. Oh wait, to my asshole? No, not just for your ass. <laughs> for like oh, your yeah. bar. bars of soap, and then like you would use it, and you would never throw it away because it was still so small, and, it, and then you'd start like mashing it against the other small. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like kind of. So your now, ass. Now would... I kind of miss bar of soap. I have one in my shower right now. It's fun. Mm -hmm. You ever you see the uh, Charles Barkley story where he talks about how he was like using hotel soap and he was. Cleaning that, and he's like, and I kind of lost it for a minute. No, <laughs> he's like, it's uh, it slipped in there, and I couldn't find it. God, I'm gonna miss hotel that show. soap. Entirely possible. Hotel yeah. soap. Oh, like when I get out of there, I always feel dry. Yeah, me too. I, I hate yeah. the way it makes my skin feel. I don't I like hate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't like the pumps on the wall because you can too. access. I, I don't the like pumps that either. Some of them have the locks, spit in them. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I'm always afraid somebody's yeah, gonna I always, air. And every time I go to the hotel, the last shower I take, I spit in all the <laughs> Yeah, so just so in case somebody pulled a fast <laughs> one on me, I could yeah. pass yeah. it on. Yeah, pay it forward to the next person. Pay it forward. I'm, I'm going to spit and piss in this condition. Uh, <laughs> another bathroom one, Mush also put bathroom garbages. Yeah. What? Uh, I That's crazy. Like, I don't think no way, garbage dude. Guy. I don't think those, th those are my most used yeah. garbage. I think that yeah. most of the, like, if it was actually gone, you would have no idea you just go to the normal garbage. No, if it was gone, I would. I, after I PSQT the the, the PS. post ca post shower Q tip, I will throw it right in that little thing right in front of the shower. I mostly just hate small garbages, tiny garbages. Well, yeah, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, Do you if, clean your ears after you shower. It's it's better than any sex you're, ever. You're really so not supposed to Q tip, lower. Nick. Does yeah, really are. bad damage. To yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. They've been saying that, but I've been doing it. My it whole feels life. I love I, wet it. ear double Q tip. Holy fuck. <laughs> Feels great. The best, yeah. Um, yeah. I love what you Nick also put John Heater. Yeah, the actor that played Napoleon Dynamite. Mm hmm. The actor that played Napoleon Dynamite. Mm. He hasn't really been in anything. Uh, yeah. I would never think of him. Yeah. Uh, hubcaps from Che. What's a hubcap? The fake thing that goes <laughs> over tires. Gotcha. Uh, and then lastly, water fountains as an adult. I love no, water fountains. Weirdly I don't enough, water fountains. when we did that drafting shoot last week, one of the the guy who was shooting it, like that doesn't work for Barcelona, was just running around looking for a water fountain. <laughs> and I was like, I, water I, fountain, I was right? like, I'm pretty sure there's one by the bathroom. Like he was a lot. adamant yeah. on a water fountain. Water fountains yes. are huge as a kid. Yeah, that's what it says as now, an adult. I don't. I you know I, why? I wouldn't notice water hoses. I think too, it was uh, yeah. what was it? Was the Big Daddy or something else that had a had yeah, a Kool Aid? It was uh, uh, Mr. Deeds had the Kool Aid. Mr. Deeds, Mr. Deeds had Deeds. that. And I, I always Blind thought that punch. was gonna be like the coolest thing. In the and world. you always knew which ones in elementary school had the coldest yep. water. Oh, you did. But then after that, but then there was the one like. My elementary school had like the taller one and the shorter one, and the taller one just barely drizzled yeah, outside yeah, of the nozzle. Yeah. So you had to like wrap your mouth around the fucking nickel yeah. metal. <laughs> you should realize how disgusting. I they did are. really. I would always judge the kids who put their lips really close to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a thing a whole episode of Parks and Rec about that. They have to put like cup cages around the bottles because all the citizens keep putting their whole mouth around so the whole disgusting. fucking thing. <laughs> Did you ever have like the annoying kid in school count as you were drinking? Yeah, 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 some yeah. for the fishes. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Save some for the fishes. Such a good callback. <laughs> wow. Christ. I forgot all about it. Oh, them. they were the worst. <laughs> they would count four. Five. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I remember being so thirsty using those though. Like it was the best. But you couldn't get hit with a fishy. After oh. gym class, yeah. Water fountains now are just like water bottle. I still use them regularly. Yeah. Oh, I don't. So I would notice pretty quickly. When you would go to the water fountain, would you have a set number of sips? Like I would always do 15. I would 15 10, I was 10 sips? Oh, really? no. You were the guy getting yelled at to save yeah. some for the fishes. I don't think that's crazy long. Like you're doing pretty quick. It was my most refreshing quenches. The best quenches. That's the number one quench. Yeah. No, I'd argue water hose. Ooh. Hose had some good ones. My mom always told me I'd get lockjaw. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's a rumor. Uh, so to give the run through the options again, and Nikki smokes, you'll go first. Uh, <laughs> Wait, her, that's not a bad bracket too. 
Best quenches? I, no, I was, best quenches and also just like <laughs> uh, like rumors like that. Best like rumors, wives yeah. Tales, old wives, wives tales. tales. You make funny faces. Things your mom scared you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, turning yeah, yeah. on the console light in the car. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the like light on, in the car. Like the yeah. car. Yep. I I We've that talked was about this was a legit on, felony. on here. It was yeah. like you was, yeah. you were going to yeah. die if that happened. Yep, exactly. Uh, so to run through the options again, the one friend that never talks in the group chat, uh, cashier, or, oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I missed one um, earlier, or I think I mixed some of these up. Sorry, so that one's for a separate one. So to run through the options again, um, the bar of soap, bathroom garbages, John Heater, Hubcaps, water fountain as water fountains as an adult, and that one friend that never talks in the group chat. Starting with you, Nikki Smokes. I don't even know what a John Heater. Yeah, what was is, that? So. That was John Heater was a Nickelodeon Dynamite time. actor. You guys already forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So John, Damn. John, <laughs> John Heater. All those other ones, I feel like I use pretty much in everyday life. So. So one John for John Heater. Heater. KB. Yeah, John Heater by far. John Heater by now in this hypothetical, like I would maybe Google him in like eight years because I, w- I would think about Napoleon Dynamite. Would that reveal that he was banished? Yeah, he's also in uh Bench Warmers, right? Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah, and he's also in Blades of Glory. Yes, Blades of Glory. Damn, oh, yeah. that's, that's no, he's he's fucking. Gotten, he's okay, gotten, I feel like I would Google him eventually. He's gotten better. Blades of Glory. Mm-hmm. He is very good in Blades of Glory. But the re- the rest. Those are big movies. Yeah, uh, I would know. Yeah, but like we've forgotten about him. I think I would notice. I actually soap. didn't know he was the Blaze of Glory guy. It, it, it's a one you just have to take a second to think about. Yeah. My Grubhub driver just texted me. He said, "Can you tip me more? I haven't got my food yet <laughs> because the office is too far out of the way, and it's not worth it to him to bring the food." <laughs> oh my god! As, but he oh. has the food in his car. He's, yeah. he's, he's got you it. by the yeah. fucking yeah. balls. Yeah. Did he really do he's that? He's not yes. delivering his, your food if like, you don't yeah, tip Yeah, I got more. you on cash, and then just take it. There's no way that's ever worked. I'm not answering about to. this. This guy's a scab. What, what do you mean it's out huh. of the... Like, it was within your delivery zone, obviously, right? Yeah, I, I ordered this to the office many it's a time. It's just a little inconvenient for him right now. <laughs> yeah, if you were able to order it, then it's fine. I yeah, I mean, like you just go full Karen and post that on Twitter and get, like, $300. I gotta see what this guy looks like. Uh, so three for John here. Wait, wait, I'm gonna switch... To hubcaps, maybe. Hubcaps? I they're would, always on the side of the road. Yeah, but I wouldn't notice that they're not. Okay. Like, where's the hubcap? But what would tires look like? like don't tires all have hubcaps? They have rims yeah. or mm-hmm. hubcaps. Are we talking about, like, the shit that's on the back of a Jeep? You know, like, Jeeps have that spare tire on the that's back. That's just a spare tire. Covering. That's that's either a rim. Oh, we would rims definitely like, know if hubcaps they call, like, that gone. cover? Is it just a yeah, tire? Hubcaps are, nice. cover. hubcaps are, like, the fake covers Silver. so you don't just see the black tire. You can either have real rims... Or hub- oh, a lot of people have hubcaps. You would notice Everyone if these were gone, hubcaps. I think. Uh, oh, the, how? Yeah, we would notice. Aren't rims? Oh, I thought hubcaps, hubcaps were like the screws. Hubcaps. That's right. Really we used to steal no. those as no. kids. No. Rims go the nuts right through. Hubcaps those are, are cheaper tires. They just cover to. They look like. I'm rims. gonna look it up. Yeah. yeah. There was a place called Hubcaps by Claysville. <laughs> yes. The way to wash. Yeah. What was it? I'm still gonna go heater. Oh, I'd say hubcaps for sure. Okay, you're going back to heater. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I would recognize hubcaps being gone. I'm staying with my answer, John Heater. So three for John Heater, Che. I'm going hubcaps. I, I don't know what they practically do. Like if there was an if cars just stopped having you, just be like, all right. Uh, I would never think. But you'd hubcaps. notice t- tires would look different. Yeah, they'd look very. If something different. went missing from cars. I wouldn't notice uh, back windshield wipers going missing. Oh, that's no. a good one. Mm. I don't think I would either. All right, fine. Find Napoleon Dynamite. Nap- another one for Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, Tommy? Yeah. What's his name, Jay? John Heater? <laughs> yeah, see, it's a yeah. forgettable yep. guy. I'm going to go Great John Heater as well. well. Another for John Heater. Clean sweep. Clean sweep for John Heater. John Heater's going to go up against our number one seed. And this is the guy, the one that submitted that one. I think it is tremendous. Such a yeah. perfect spirit of this one. This guy submitted uh, wheel stops and parking lots, which I think is the perfect perfect suggestion show them a picture so i'll send you guys real stuff so do you remember if, if you ever go to a parking lot sometimes they have like this little mound of concrete that's all the way at the front of the spot where like oh. your front tire is supposed to stop on them i would never notice if those were gone do, ever do you know what i'm talking about i still don't oh yeah i know what you mean i'm thinking of curbs no 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 they no, basically are curbs the in the office, middle of a parking like the parking spots, yeah. like the little block of cement that's in the then parking spot i guess spot. i don't notice them at all those are annoying as hell they're the worst when you get in I hit them all the time. Yep. Where the fuck did that picture go? Now, would you not notice it, or you would just be grateful that they weren't there anymore? I mean, a lot of parking lots don't have them. Right, I think the fact that a lot of parking lots don't have them prove their uselessness. So, again, 
wheel stops at parking lots going up against the number 16 seed, which is now John Heater, starting with you, Mush. Uh, the parking, the, what are, you, what are we calling them? Uh, parking lot stops, I guess. Parking lot stoppers. So parking lot wheel stops. Thousand percent. Tommy? Yeah, that's a great spirit of the bracket submission. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to go with uh, wheel stoppers. Wheel stoppers. Jay? Wheel stoppers. They're just infringing on the rest of the parking spot. Like, instead of having 100% of the parking spot, you have 95. 85. When you have to back yeah. out of a spot, Ooh. instead of just going forward, right out is the worst because of those things. Mm -hmm. Are you guys back in, guys, or forward, guys? I am forward. As, as long as I can I do it. I know you're back guys. in. My big back end. I like back I'm end. the most are, forward in the world. Wait, yeah, I, I I'd like iconic. Curved. I would yeah, know these are huge. I would know no, you guys in a are second. crazy. That's what I'm saying. No way. I, I would so know this good. in a second. If if somebody told me to draw a picture of a parking lot, I would include it. No. Yeah. Oh, you're out of your mind. I would never anyway. put this in there. These, uh, parking lots. Yeah, I thought these were just called curbs. <laughs> 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 if they were all together, it'd be a curb. Yeah, they're not attached. Yeah, but I still wouldn't notice. Yeah, I would notice for sure. So we're, th you would. we're th yeah. three for wheel stops, Nick? Absolutely not. No. Stick with John. These are iconic. John Heater. Yeah, this is not a parking lot without these. So one for John Heater. Visually. KB? Yeah. I think these, as, as iconic as they are, I wouldn't care to notice a, does you our, would does, notice does i would not observe i wouldn't be like oh where are the that's what everybody learns to board slide but i would google john heater does would our you? parking lot have them right now our parking i lot don't know building yes they yeah they are. i don't know so i wouldn't notice they do so we have four for wheel stops nikki smokes i'm going john heater Either way, wheel stops gonna move its on its way onward. Uh, before we get to the second half, let's talk about our second sponsor of the day, Rocket Money. Most Americans think they spend around sixty-two bucks a month on subscriptions, but get this: the real number is closer to three hundred. This is literally that's thousands of dollars a year, which you've probably forgotten about. Thankfully, we started using Rocket Money. They found a bunch of subscriptions that we'd forgotten about, and they helped us kill, uh, cancel, kill. I guess same thing. Uh, the ones we don't want anymore. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users right now, and they saved them, on over, uh, saved them a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to 740 bucks a year when using all the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash bracket. That's rocketmoney.com slash bracket, rocketmoney.com slash bracket. Shout out to the folks. I use Rocket Money. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. They're amazing. It's so when I went on um, my, my two-week sober cleanse the first week, they said um, I only spent like $151 that week, which is $1,300 less than my average week. Jesus spent. Christ. That's, so, yeah, shout out Rocket Money. That's fucking Money. insane. Uh, second half of the bracket, first option is the number six seed. This is one I'm very curious to see how you guys feel about it because I, I at first I was like, I would obviously notice this. The more I thought about it, I'm like, I don't think I would sneezing so how long into not sneezing would you notice hey i haven't sneezed in a while would i feel like wow. i have to sneeze you know because that's part of sneezing this is tough but i don't know i think my first cold i'd be like wow i have all the symptoms of a cold but i'm, I'm not, not sneezing. sneezing i don't know i just don't know if i would notice it and that's i sneeze every time i walk out into the sun <laughs> so you would definitely more know more like a nose yep is that like your nose is like albino or something <laughs> I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, my grandma <laughs> sneezes every time she eats. Yeah, After she's done eating, she sneezes. She sneezes. I think it's a genetic that thing. Makes you a do like a 23 me test, it'll tell you if you're a, somebody who sneezes in the sunlight. Jesus. Uh, sneezing is going up. It's number 11. See, another one where, like, I, yeah, we'll probably would notice dry ice. How do you feel about that one? Would never know. What, what the hell is dry a, ice? Who, dry ice who hurts, is experiencing bro. dry ice? I went to a sushi restaurant. Last oh. Friday, and it comes out with like dry ice for like the volcano effect. Yeah. Have you ever gotten yeah. a package you, delivered and there was dry ice in it? Yep. And it yeah. fucking ruins yep. your hand. No, mm -hmm. it hurts so oh, bad. Yeah, you have certain meal things. You eat it, you die, right? It's yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Noted. So probably not in a, a good death either. No, probably not. So which one of these would you be more likely to just like never notice going extinct? Sneezing or dry ice? Starting with you, uh, Marty. I'm gonna go with dry ice. Dry ice, I really. I mean, maybe not though, because isn't that how they do like some like s smoke machines too? I think like, that's yeah. The fact that you don't know means you're that's not, true. Like, you would <laughs> ever regard dry. Why well, is it more Chinese restaurant d dr uh, drinks have them? Mm -hmm. I'm going dry ice. 
Dry ice, Tom? Yeah, I'm still not even positive what dry ice is. You Don't did ask, ask what is like, it. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, so I looked it up. I, I Sneezing, I think you would notice. You'd have a cold, you would notice. Sneezing, I, I like a good sneeze, so I'm going to go with, I mean, but if you ask me when's the last time I sneezed, I'm not sure, but still dry ice. Mm -hmm. so dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide turned directly into gas and it warms up instead of melting. You guys don't sneeze every day. I sneeze every single day. I'm sure day. I have, but I, I can't tell you day. for every sure. Day? Yeah. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Every day. Not every day. Not every I've day. gone every a week day. without sneezing. Probably once a week. <laughs> yeah. No shot. Okay, let's all yeah. track our sneezes from right yeah. this point on. All right. Until next Tuesday. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be sneezing. Deal. I bet Deal. you I only sneeze one day a week. I'll bet you that. I'm going to start a note app right you now. You sneeze okay, and I'll be honest with you. Okay. I'll be honest as well, because mm -hmm. I don't think I'll sne I might not sneeze. I'm going to track it. And, like, you feel them coming, so try to try to film as well. Yeah. And if, yeah, don't also hold it in if you feel it yeah. coming. Yeah, no. No, no, I'll be, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, right now we have two for dry ice. Che? So I actually know the answer about sneezing and, like, how often you do it, because... Do you know how after often I sneeze? <laughs> no, well, no, but after I got slammed, I when I had my <laughs> shoulder injury, what? after well af after KB and I wrestled oh, on oh, Yak oh, okay. and I got slammed, yeah. and I had an injury. Sneezing was the most painful thing in the world. Like it felt like I was getting kicked in the heart when I was doing it. Oh man, so that hurts so you bad. You feel bad, Kyle? Yeah, I feel horrible, and I always have. So when I was going to sneeze, I would like control myself and like hold it in. And I did this for, I believe, eight days. And then once that eight days passed, like, it didn't hurt anymore. And now it's, like, totally fine. But, um, yeah, I would probably sneeze, like, once every two to three days. And it was, uh, I mean, yeah, that, you can use that for your whatever these purposes are. But, yeah. Thank you. You can, you can hold it in. There, it's pretty easy. Does to hold anyone have sneeze, allergies? So. Me. I blow my I blow my nose and sneeze. I have like but then yeah, the sometimes you'll do it multiple times in a row. Mm. Yeah. Wait till you find about it. Yeah, I, I just sneeze. I just need like one thirty second run of you just ripping like two sneezes. Easy. Yeah. yeah. What? Like he, like if you sneeze went. twice in a minute. Oh loop. no, I'm talking about days that I sneeze. No, 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 no. This is you, how many you times you sneeze in a week. I would say you probably. I sneeze said I sneeze one days day a week. week. Yeah, well, you sneeze you said once a week. One, what do you mean? You oh, you said you're saying you sneeze one day a week or once but every yeah, day? But now that, yeah, it's it's usually just once. Yeah, I do it probably like, once. Sometimes two to three. Okay, so once a week. I'll bunch three to five. I think I go weeks without sneezing. Do you sneeze I twice you every time you sneeze? Not every time. I usually, I'm usually two. two. I think yeah. most times, but. So I'm probably yeah. twice a week. I might keep track of this for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> a total number of sneezes. So, Che, which one? This is something I'm into. I'm very excited to see who sneezes the least. So, Che, which one do you think? I notice sneezes a lot. So, um, what was the other one? Dry sneeze ice. also hurt me. No. Uh, dry ice. Three for dry sneeze ice. Saw, Nick? At, th at 38 years old, if you sneeze, like, it's a full body, like... I have to stretch before I sneeze. feel it. <laughs> it's bad. I have to, like, lean forward so I don't throw out my back. It's horrible. So, yeah, yeah you gotta, like, you crack your back it. before you do it. <laughs> Nick, sneezing yeah. or dry ice? Dry ice. Dry ice for sure, KB. I don't know what would have to happen for me to notice the extinction of dry ice. I think James Cameron would have to direct a movie <laughs> called Dry Ice that was all about dry ice. And I still wouldn't notice that actual dry ice is gone. So it's dry ice all the way. Nikki Smokes? Dry ice, yeah. <laughs> dry ice going to move on. Uh, next up, we have the three versus the 14. The three, uh, uh, Nick one, slingshots. I agree. I yeah. would take me a long time to realize yeah. slingshots are gone. Never, never. But it's going up. Date, dated ass tech. <laughs> it's going up against number fourteen seed. Uh, this person had a qualifier for it. The Charlotte Hornets. How long would it take you to realize the wow. Charlotte Hornets are gone forever? The wow. Maybe the most, the least notable of the big three sports. No. Teams. Uh, oh, big three. They're, they're not more counting of hockey. A starter jacket than an NBA team. To yeah. Their yeah, clothes are dumb. Snap tough. back. Yeah. I think the Columbus Blue Jackets are the most forgettable of the big. Three. Yeah. So not even counting hockey. I think yeah. just among the big three sports, I think the Charlotte Hornets are probably the least notable. No, of all. because Michael Jordan oh, owned no, them. Lamelo Ball is. Su such yeah, a and Michael Jordan owned Brandon them. Brandon Miller. So which That's team would you? Very very good. Who do you think is less guy. known of the big three of all big three sports? Sacramento. Teams? I think it depends. I thought about the Kings. The Wizards are slow getting there. Wizards are definitely getting there. But yeah, Wizards. John Wall. I would forget about the Wizards. Mm -hmm. I don't think any NFL John team really Wall can qualify. John Wall is retired. 
But still. That would be a baseball team. Yeah. I don't think any yeah. NFL team. I don't think. Like the Angels. If the Reds left, no, I wouldn't have know. Trout. Mm. Yeah, but once he's gone. So the Charlotte Hornets going yeah. up against Slingshots. Nikki Portland Trailblazers? I think I um, might notice. Wouldn't notice. Yeah, Port Portland's kind of iconic. Dominating? Come on. Yeah. Tom and Neat. Um, what is it? Slingshots and what? <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, it's, it's Slingshots Slingshot versus Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets. But I wait, this use a Slingshot once a year. Um, I, like when I go camping, it's it's fun. I got little nephews and we just all right, all right. squirrels and shit. Um, but the Charlotte Hornets are an NBA basketball team. I'll go Slingshot. Slingshots? KB? Slingshots versus the sh Charlotte Hornets? Yes. <laughs> the sl slingshot. Slingshots. How long would it take? I'm just thinking, like, even in your world, because I don't know how much you watch uh, basketball. Never. A lot of these are never for me. I'm not an observant person. Same. Not, You're not? I'm a thinker, but not a, a seer. I like that. A seer. Uh, See, I'm a, I guess that's where we, we switch up. I observe everything. Mm -hmm. You don't, I don't think, think about, about it. About it. <laughs> yeah. I, I see like what's Clumber's going on. hair raising at dinner second by second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Nick, like when I'm at a, somebody's door, I'm like, I'm not looking at the welcome mat. I'm thinking about what I'm going to say to that person when they open it. Oh, no. I no Marty's that. mind is just listing things he sees. Yeah, <laughs> mine's like, I just observe it. Like my mom, when she chews, she, her eyebrows go fucking nuts. I can't take it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a big, like, driving on the highway, you'll, like, name all the signs or, like, all the stores? Uh, what? no. What's that? <laughs> You're, know, like, driving on the highway with, like, a significant other or something like that. You'll be like, oh, I do that. Wendy's. Taco what was Bell. the thing you told me? You... I, I do do that. I think that's called ADHD. <laughs> you told me that you like was it? You count every purple thing you see. Is that it? Well, no. I play games in my head every yeah. day. Like I play over under how many jerseys I see today. Like or mm -hmm. like it depends on the day. Yeah. What's the line? It's usually four and a half. I think how many do you see today? What a good line. Today was two. Two? Yeah. Do, do in office ones count? No, no in office. Nothing count. in office. Okay. I saw a Brewers. Does the guy uh, in the corner count that sells the? No, jerseys? he doesn't count. Even though his jerseys are <laughs> sick. Does jersey have to be yeah. on body? No, mm, you just need to physically really? see it. And then sometimes it even counts if you like. I see like a uh, like a Notre Dame backpack or something. Sometimes that counts as well. Count. What about like a billboard well, with the guy wearing game, a jersey? So it counts. Doesn't it's... count. Sanctity of the game. <laughs> what about like a billboard with a guy wearing a jersey? No, it's okay. gotta be on person. Uh, so two for slingshots right now, KB. Slingshot. Yep, KB. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nick. Oh shit! Sorry. Um, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Uh, so I sent you these this morning, Ken Jack. Mm -hmm. What did I fucking do this morning when I got into the office? Slingshot a slingshot. Zah has one. Um, <laughs> fucking sucked. Pissed me off. It was a blast. I hit Malisak right in the head. You say, so you With that being said, one of these is a billion dollar fran uh, franchise. Mm -hmm. Slingshots have probably generated billions in revenue. This year? No, per over year? Time. Oh, over time. Yeah, lifetime? Yeah. I mean, it killed he Goliath. That's a really good question. Yeah. What's generated more lifetime made income? More money than the Charlotte Hornets. Net. What's made more? Net. The Charlotte, the Charlotte Hornets, Hornets this money? year. Yes. They probably lose money. Well, dude, they're part of revenue sharing. All the teams share the revenue. Oh, okay. Dork. Didn't. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> didn't. Folks proposed a good question. Lifetime have slingshots made more than the Hornets make in a year? Money wise. Specifically. Absolutely. Yeah. You saying no? I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Hornets in a year. The hornet. The Hornets. Get, uh, all the all the NBA teams share in basketball related. But income. if they That's didn't share, and the Hornets went just off their revenue alone, they probably don't make lifetime money. like ever for slingshots. Yeah. Slingshots. But I mean, think They've about like hundreds and hundreds of years so ago, long. money was nothing. But as it's, it's adjusted for tactical it. ones. I'm looking at some tactical slingshots. The slingshot dates back to the Bible. Yeah. But they are probably you know, been selling a penny. those things for thousands of years. I can't find a slingshot that's more than one hundred dollars. Yeah, but they that's they've been around forever. Fun, they've been think. around since like you were saying, like David okay, and Goliath. No, wait. One twenty for the simple shot cleaver pro. I mean if a guy's trading his goat for a anyway. slingshot, you still gotta count that, right? Like that's Yeah, the goat's worth at least a hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Slingshots are more forgettable than if the Hornets disappear. Slingshots, yeah. Che. Definitely, I would notice in a day if the Charlotte Hornets were. You gone. would definitely no, notice. You wouldn't. You would definitely yeah, notice. And I look at the whole board every day. The Charlotte <laughs> yeah, Hornets made two hundred and sixty-nine million dollars last year. The oh, Hornets made? definitely clears, or rather, Slingshots definitely clears that. That's just I last don't know. year. Crush. Yeah, there's just that's what saying. Just in a year. One two hundred sixty-nine million to them made last year. Yeah. 
I mean, Slingshot's definitely cleared that. Lifetime. That's crazy. You think they... I don't yeah. think so. And then I'm not sure. their expenses. They probably lost money that year, Marty. No, this is or revenue. Are you saying like, that's net profit? Yeah, this is profit. Yeah. Okay, I think. Okay. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, so, Che, you're going... You would Even in the offseason, you check the board every day? I mean, I would notice if an NBA franchise was gone. <laughs> so I'd like, do like crossover grids, immaculate grids, yeah. Yeah, but if you woke up tomorrow and the Hornets were... I don't even mean like historically speaking this thing is gone. It's just now gone. Now, like current right now, like the stadium's wiped off the map. All the Hornets players are gone. And like, is, it a, is it a news story? No, no one talked... No, it's just... It's no one noticed until that it happened, basically. I would notice once the NBA season starts back up again. I look at the standings and be like, why well, there's only four well, teams Brandon, in this division yeah. now. Now, it might take me a little bit yeah, to be like, like which team is missing now? from this division. Yeah. Uh, Tommy? No, uh, slingshots. Slingshots. Yeah, I'd eventually get around. The Hornets would eventually come across Slingshots. Slingshots to me are like a, a boomerang. Boomerang? Yeah. yeah. Definitely They're the, the same, same thing where like I don't, I've never used, I think, either of them. Oh, I've definitely used I feel like slingshots. boomerangs don't work. I also kind of agree with that, too. Yeah. I feel like I've never seen a boomerang actually in action. Now we have the number yeah, seven seed versus the ten seed. The seven seed is the 31st day of months. So any any day that every month has a 31st Winner. day. Get, a, get rid of the uh, I would day. notice this instantly. <laughs> it's gone forever. You just immediately go to the next month. And that's going uh, up against number 10 seed. Specifically, not landlines, but house telephones. So houses with a landline telephone. Uh, so start with you, Marty. 31st of a month. Would have no Wait. idea that those are gone. If everything ended at 30. Really? If everything ended at 30, I'd be like, yep. Sounds good. Everything should end at 28, and there should be 13 months, but that's a story for another day. Mm. Uh, so, one for nice. 31st day of months. You're cutting Thir- the math. 13. Why 13? Add another month for the extra days that you add off. Why? From the 20. So, then there's exactly four weeks in every month. That would be perfect. Mm-hmm. I don't want an extra month, though. Where would you put it, the extra month? It's the same amount of days. What would mm-hmm. you name the month? I don't know. Something Roman? What would you name it? I don't know. I when would my this. birthday be? <laughs> yeah. It's the 29th. I'm born on the 29th. <laughs> Ooh, true. You, you get to pick it. Be one day less. No, that's if fine. I can get by that. <laughs> <laughs> one for the 30, uh, for 31st day of month, Tommy. What was it up against? Uh, the house telephones. The house telephone. I would know. I know how many days are. I'm not one of those guys. What would you name them? Who month? doesn't know the days and months. I'm autistic. <laughs> I know all the dates. <laughs> Jeremy? Um, yeah, house telephone would never... like. The only house telephone is still when I'm home with my parents, and like they don't even pick theirs up anymore. And I would never be like, "Why isn't it ringing?" Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm gonna go with the the house phone. One to one, Che. Yeah, house phone. There's the knuckle trick where it's like January, yeah. February, March, and like every knuckle is the 31st day, and when you put them together, it equals out. So, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely the t- house telephone. Wait, you explain that one again. So like the the knuckles ha- have 31 hands days. together, and you start with uh oh in between a knuckle like on your left hand yeah it's january february oh. march april may june <laughs> july uh, good and then it goes up to the next hand august, august. july basically just every other yeah but that's is that too many knuckles yeah there's more knuckles than months but it mm-hmm. uh so cha- right now we're three oh. to two in yeah. favor or three to one in favor of house telephone nick yeah house telephone if the 31st day of the month disappeared um, we December thirty first. Sai was born. What would Sai say? New Open Year's Eve would be ruined. Yeah. What would he Why say? Why would New Year's Eve be ruined? Still, it would oh, be thirtieth. Because there's no thirty first. It would be thirtieth. Yeah. Yeah. But well, now 30th. you're just discriminating. Well, you wouldn't know. You are discriminating. <laughs> we, are <laughs> we are so discriminatory <laughs> against it. Uh, KB. Oh, yeah, I would notice it's tomorrow. The calendar one. That's you. You guys don't pay attention to thirty first. No. Sometimes you get paid on the thirty first. That's the first yeah. On a Saturday, broke boys now. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, broke boys. No. Nikki smokes. Uh, landline, a home telephones for sure. Those things kick rocks. Yeah, I think I would notice. I wouldn't. I don't think we could have counted regular. You guys wouldn't months. notice tomorrow that if it was the first of August. Nope. I would notice. You would definitely notice. But that's like a different brain thing. I think my broke-ass check today to see if I was getting paid on the 31st or the 1st, actually. Uh, Now we have the 2 seed versus the 15 seed. The 2 seed is couch pillows. That's another Marty one. And I kind of agree with you. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, I don't use... Not cushions. Couch pillows. Couch pillows. Like decorative couch pillows. What would you sleep on if you ever pass out at your boy's crib? Yeah. I feel like couch pillows are a necessity. Regular pillow? How many times do you fall asleep at your boy's crib? 
I mean, what did you know? Like, never go to college or blackout in high school? <laughs> like, I know you're like old and washed now, but I feel like <laughs> that's a normal thing to have couch. I just pillows. don't think I would recognize. I think I just fall asleep on the couch and just lay on. If you are as drunk as you're ass, saying, you probably don't, you don't notice. Yeah. Like, you could fall asleep on a cushion. Yeah, but it's not a pillow. And then, like, your head's not elevated properly. And then you wake up with a stiff neck. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I don't know. I wouldn't yeah. recognize it. Uh, <laughs> this is going up against our number 15 seed, which is another play-in game. First up, there's one where, I don't know the reference point here, but this is for KB and Nick. Someone submitted it. Uh, hurricane simulators, unless you're Nick and KB's friends with the batteries. Yeah, we used to have a friend who would go in the hurricane simulator and put batteries in his palm. They'd fly around. He died. Wait, what? From doing that? Like, dead Marcus. Yeah, the one at the mall. He put batteries in it and it like hit him. Yeah. Jesus. Christ. He died from that. Yeah. That's insane. Him to death. Did you I mean, say that kind of makes sense? Dead Marcus. Darwinism. Well, we had two Marcuses in our friend group. So <laughs> oh, dead Marcus. We call him Dead Marcus <laughs> oh my now. God. Uh, next there is from Nikki Smokes Cashiers. Cashiers. Yes. You, you wouldn't know. Excuse crazy. me. <laughs> That's insane. They're already extinct, bro. No. <laughs> There's maybe one cashier left in every grocery what? store. Not a chance. <laughs> All right, so don't vote for me. It's great. <laughs> Another Nikki smokes one. A coworker. <laughs> Which one? Wait, was did what, yeah, what name? One? No, no, no. That, that's all it said. Was a coworker. Yeah, but name one that you that's wouldn't know. That's a good know. one. I there's. Like, there's, there's multiple, like, not in this office, but, like, jobs I've worked where people have disappeared and I have no that's idea. That's actually that not a bad point. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, another Nick. Yeah, somebody you saw every single day for years on end, I would forget. No, but sometimes, no, like, the, I know I'm no, not I being would, sarcastic. Yeah. Uh, next Shallow relationship. was an, uh, another Nikki one, women's sports. <laughs> <laughs> not now. I, I think I'm spitting. I would probably take me a month. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd notice. I'd only notice like the hot ones not having jobs Jesus anymore. Christ. Uh, and a Tommy one, jelly beans. Yeah, I could go forever without knowing That's a jelly good one. beans or. What are you? What are you gonna Easter. give out to the kids for Easter, asshole? I'm not. I don't... Yeah, the Starburst jelly beans ruined that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I don't give White kids Starburst things. I don't give kids love. candy on yeah. Easter. Well, one day you might have a kid, and he might want jelly beans. I don't on like Easter, jelly beans. Then He's gonna get a Cadbury caramel egg. <laughs> And he'll like it. It's delicious. <laughs> uh, and then lastly, another Tommy one, hair conditioner. Yeah, like, what? what? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, conditioner? Know. You must have dog hair. Yeah, conditioner. I you just would, use shampoo. You you should be using you some conditioner. Shampoo? I don't use shampoo. I don't use shampoo. I don't use conditioner. That's a I only use boys. conditioner. You should use, oh, that's you use conditioner well, all no, the time. because no, I used to shampoo every day. That's don't shampoo hair. every day. Oh, I used to. Do that. Mm. I would have mm. guessed him. Wait, why? That's why your hair is gone? That's my theory. No. <laughs> yeah, because I was just drying all the follicles. All right, I'm with that. Same here. Yeah. I, yep. See, I would have been hot. I was doing, I was shampooing every day until I was told that's stupid. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Th there's yeah, some I'm people who, like, too. they're like, you should go months without doing it. I think that's, that's crazy. Insane. I think that's what Fight says he does. He, like, just does yeah, it. Yeah, he barely does it. There's I a very popular the subreddit where the boys no poo. encourage each other to yeah. no poo. I would have guessed hard money that Nikki Smokes was using, like, the eight in one conditioner. Where it's like conditioner, body wash, hand yeah, wash, back in the day, yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, toothpaste. Now, now it's like <laughs> it's everything. Leave-in conditioner, yeah. ass, ass soap, everything, all in one container. <laughs> uh, yep. So to run through the options again: the hurricane simulators, uh, cashiers, a coworker, women's sports, jelly beans, or hair conditioner. Let's start with you, Nikki Smokes. Which one do you think should move on against our two seed? A uh, coworker. Just a coworker. Like, like, even, like, when we downsized, there was so many people I didn't realize were gone. But you also weren't here. But that's good. <laughs> I, was only there for, I was only there for, like, a week when that happened, but, yeah. I'm going to make room for your bloated ass contract. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, five people. <laughs> KB. <laughs> oh, man. It depends on what where I'm working. Like, here, I, I would eventually notice anyone leaving. At the New York office, I, there's some salespeople I didn't meet. So a coworker, but for me now, uh, jelly beans. Jelly beans for. Sh I don't think I would ever notice. I don't know whenever I. I don't I, think I, I. don't like jelly beans, so I never am seeking jelly beans yeah. out. So I don't think I'd ever notice. Yeah. Honestly, neither am I. And what about Birdie Bots? I don't even know what that is. Uh, the, should they have bogey flavor? <laughs> is that Harry Potter? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes like you could either get like a chocolate or it tastes like bogey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh. I love that one joke where they were like, the, do you remember the one scene in the first Harry Potter movie where he just carry buys all of the candy? 
I'll take the long. Yeah, and like everyone yeah, else in the train head. is fucked. Like no one else can have yeah, candy. They're gonna starve. It's a long ass <laughs> train. Uh, Nick. Uh, probably coworker. Yeah. Especially at old job. Old jobs here. It's like it's more of a for like I don't know camaraderie to it and all that shit. But like at old jobs for sure. Uh, che. Yeah. Well, we as we talk about who gets fired. That too. Yeah. <laughs> that's also yeah. That happens. Uh, che. Condi- conditioner. I. I don't think it's necessary. It doesn't even feel as good as shampoo. I don't know why people Ooh, would use that. You never rubbed your junk with conditioner? Dude, your hair feels so no. smooth when you... With conditioner? So I might buy some conditioner. I don't know if everybody uses it. It feels great. Yeah. I'll use it when I'm at a hotel. Like, that's number one jerk-off in shower lubricant. Correct. Conditioner? conditioner. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? For sure. Oh, Jay. Steven you, you has got your... some conditioner on Ooh. the list tonight. <laughs> Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> damn. <laughs> He's gonna run away like Isn't a cartoon. Isn't conditioner like a little bit, uh... Uh, a little bit like rougher, like no, not it's even the opposite. Shampoo is no, it's like it's just harder to get out of the bottle. You know, you, I'm sick. Sure I understand with the name conditioner, it's <laughs> a little confusing. No, it's 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 smooth. It's, it's good. Yeah, some people will use it as lubricant for pocket pussies. It's also true. That's a fact. Jay, you're gonna you're gonna have your Blue whole Mountain mind State. opened up by this. Right. I think your wife's gonna be like, "Why the fuck is he in the shower for ten hours?" on the shower is terrible. No, not with shower. conditioner. Awful. Conditioner might change your mind. Yeah. Uh, so one for hair conditioner, Tommy. Uh, jelly beans. I don't like jelly. I'd actually. I wish they were gone. I don't like jelly beans, and it makes me angry when other people like jelly beans. I don't know why. I'm just like they're not that good. I do remember the Harry. You ever had jelly bellies? What? You ever had jelly bellies? Yeah, the, I don't like what, them. What? Is That's that the one that tastes gross. Some of them, right? Like that. Some of those taste gross. Yeah, I don't. The buttered popcorn. Oh yeah, the, I used to have yeah. those as a kid. The ones Fruity that Fruity? taste gross. They all taste gross. No. Jelly beans. Hmm. Jelly beans. It's jelly beans. Have you guys had the uh, the berry nerd clusters? No, I heard the yes. Oh yeah, the nerd oh, gummy clusters. They are that's a top tier candy. S-tier. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like certainly, I'm are, having yeah. a problem weaning off of them. <laughs> those that's are way how, better than jelly beans. Oh my god! Yeah. No, those yeah. yeah. are just yeah. off topic. Like it's just because yeah. they're so Ooh. good. Balls. Uh, so jelly Clusters. beans versus couch yeah. pillows, Marty. For me, couch pillows. I do. It would take so long to notice. I just wouldn't notice whatsoever if the decorative pillow wasn't there. If I went home tonight and my three couch pillows were gone, I would notice immediately. I would start accusing my roommate of stealing the couch pillows. I like my couch pillows. I put one yep. right between like the couch armrest and the couch, uh, and I rust my arm on that. I recently bought more couch pillows. <laughs> couch pillows are very important. This guy's obsessed with. Couch I would get pillows. rid Amen, of jelly smokes. beans immediately. Amen. One to one, Che. I'm a big fan of jelly beans, but jelly beans are popular for like a couple weeks, like in late March, early April for Easter. And after that, you're not really having too many jelly beans. They're not like super prominent in stores or anything like that. Couch pillows, I would notice immediately. Why so, yeah. is jelly beans uh, popular in Easter? Are they? I don't know. Pop- no, they are. They're definitely they're a, they, You fill them with, you fill Easter eggs with mm-hmm. them. Oh, that's probably why. Nick? A lot of candies can fit in Easter eggs, though. Mm-hmm. Like M&M's. That's true. But jelly beans are super practical because they, like, don't melt. Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. Different colors. The Starburst okay. ones are incredible. They yes, actually are. The pink really one. Incredible. S tier. Um, I'm going to go jelly beans, though, just because I use a couch pillow every day. Right now we're two to Pop two. It up. Watch Desperate Housewives. KB. That's three, one. <laughs> two for couch pillows. You get yeah. couch pillows? Three, I one. I use couch pillows so often. Mm. More than the word table. I've used couch pillows more than I've said the word table. <laughs> so I'm going to go jelly beans. That is a good way to think of it. I would love a chart of the words I said oh, the most. Oh, that would be the best. Mm-hmm. Do you think fuck's your t- in your top ten? No. I, start, uh, yes. has, uh, uh, I say and, fuck. And a lot of the prepositions time. would be higher. Is there a uh, 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 non word like? Okay, yeah. So is there a word you wouldn't notice was gone? Fuck might be up there. Ooh, word you wouldn't notice is gone. There ha- there's got to be millions. Like, not like, wor- like a word that... Like a common so, usage. A common, common, use, common word. Yeah, word that word. would be gone. Nikki Smoke wouldn't notice no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. We're time for the video to freeze, too. That's funny. I love you. <laughs> You're fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> you guys are frozen right now. It's, so um, we had no idea how that or... reaction went. <laughs> you guys were frozen. You are too. Yeah. Yeah. It was just frozen with fucking yeah. Nikki Smoke's glaring. Uh, I judge people based off their couches. <laughs> oh. Um, I judge people based off like their couches, so I'd notice if they didn't have pillows. So jelly beans for sure. You have a good couch. That's like the best part of my apartment. I mm-hmm. have the yeah. best couch of all time. Tommy is my it's couch. It's a really comfortable couch. But I think you so would notice. No, it's got pillows. 
You would notice those couch pillows were oh. on. They're a major part of the couch. A hundred percent. Maybe, I don't know. So jelly beans gonna make it on through. Uh, je uh, before we get into the Yeah, it's a shame though. Yeah, it is. Couch pillows I think is a really good one. Thank you. That was a very, very good one. Uh, before we get to the last one, let's hear from Babel. Do you want to learn a new language? The best way is to uproot your life, drop yourself in the middle of a new country and figure it out from there. Psych! But if you're not ready for that, uh, you can still learn a language. The best, next best way with Babbel. Uh, speak like uh, with a whole new you uh, with Babbel. Science-backed language learning app that gets you talking. Uh, wasting hundreds of dollars on private tutors is the old school way of learning a new language. Babbel's 10-minute lessons are quick and handcrafted by over 200 language experts ready to get you talking a new language in as little as three weeks. Because talking is the key to really knowing any language. Uh, Babbel is awesome. Uh, we've, I used it to help learn a bit more Spanish. It was awesome. Ch I mean... Honestly, uh, Nikki Smokes, you could probably use it for down in Miami, learning a little bit more Spanish, too. It would definitely help you out. Uh, so, buy Babbel. I can speak Spanish. You can speak Spanish completely? I don't believe that. No chance. I don't, yeah. I don't believe that. ¿Por qué te no callas? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Muy bien. That's not what I, I said, why don't you shut up? And you said, very good. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and I said bendición. Uh, here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get up to 60% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash lights. Get 60% off your Babbel doc at babbel.com slash lights. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash lights. Uh, rules and restrictions may apply. Never forget, Stephen Chase said he'd rather have $20 than instant fluency in any language in the world. Uh, so playoff time. Now we have uh, first the iPhone apps, the default iPhone apps like the Keynote, was it uh, files like all that other shit? Shortcuts. Yeah, going up against tandem bikes. Let's start with you, Nikki Smokes. Ah, mm. uh, this is actually a good one. I'd probably say tandem bikes. Tandem bikes over yeah, the tandem iPhone. Bikes, apps. Final answer. KB. Man, both never, but um, t tandem bikes. One day I could maybe I'd want one, or at least rent one. With a partner, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Two for tandem bikes, Nick. Um, no, it's the the apps. We you look through your phone. You, you can't even name them all. Well, that's what I. The, that's what I was saying. Okay. Okay. Apps less likely. No, you won't. You're on your phone every day. I, I deleted you that before tandem bikes. I could. I, I wouldn't have notice those one apps. without scrolling through. Yeah. Keynote. I've never opened iBooks it Bible app. So that's come. To that's on my. That's on my bottom. That's at the yeah, bottom bar that doesn't. That's move. what I figured. It's uh, pre-installed. That iBeer calculator. iBeer legendary. Mm -hmm. Do you still have it? Did you uh, get any new new DLCs on iBeer? I mean, I still have it because I spent money on it. But <laughs> uh, Jay, I'll download something. Um, the it's got to be uh, for me. It's the apps. The apps for sure. Yeah. Three for the apps, Tommy? Track. Yeah, I think it's more likely that one day, 20 years from now, got a family on the boardwalk at a beach, like, oh, let's get a tandem bicycle more than I'd ever say. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell is my fucking Keynote app? <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to go with the Keynote app. The apps, Marty? You just switched me there. Yep. I was going to say tandem. Man, I can invite somebody to a quick match on <laughs> iBeer. What the fuck does that mean? Quick beer. It was at uh, Katie Stats is the only other person on iBeer, right? Yeah, it's the other, <laughs> the other person I can play. It's Katie Stats. Oh my, Katie Stats. Speaking of game. gummy clusters, Rhea just had, I just got up for a walk because how many nerds gummy clusters I just had. Yeah, they're unbelievable. See, they're, we're having a problem at the yeah. house right but now. But not Jelly Bean. Mm -hmm. if it's, no, no, yeah. it's not Jelly Bean. But yeah, I'm going the uh, the apps. App. Yep, the app's going to move on. Now we have the uh, wheel stops in parking lots versus the handkerchiefs. And again, specifically the booger handkerchiefs. This one's tough. This is a championship matchup. This one's tough because I really like that the tire stopper but handkerchiefs are always like to me a myth i don't think anyone actually used them Except besides nick. now nick mm. <laughs> i can't believe I did, you went yes. home and like you washed your underwear and your handkerchief together yeah. <laughs> like, phone wallet the the clothes. <laughs> check in all your pockets yeah. to save your handkerchief yeah oh <laughs> i i we still have a handkerchief handkerchief drawer home <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> Do you guys have tissues in your house? Yeah. Is that not more a way more practical? I don't know. I just would put a handkerchief in my back pocket. You could get a lot of uses out of it. What are, what are the uses besides the boogers? Well, no, but I'm saying you blow your nose and it would still like, it would kind of like dry out. You could use it for all day. Oh, it would dry <laughs> out. <laughs> dry I mean, that's pretty gross. Boogers. <laughs> that's really gross. I don't know, man. I didn't think about it. <laughs> um, 
What's it going up against? Uh, right, uh, handkerchiefs versus the uh, the wheel stops. So I'm already handkerchief. Handkerchiefs, Tommy. Uh, this is tough. I would really never notice if either of these were ever gone. It's tough. It's really hard. This should be a championship. This is like a zero versus zero. I guess the parking lot. <laughs> this is easy. Yeah, one of these are everywhere, and the other is nowhere. <laughs> Except for Nick's drawer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I <laughs> guess Hanker no, no, I still no, wouldn't notice. Notice. One. I wouldn't I notice. I never either. drive. I, but I'm never going to ask for a hanker to drive, actually. It, yeah. I might abstain. I would never notice if either of these were gone. You can, you have the option to I'll abstain. I'll give my one abstain. And somebody else has the option to double vote. Let's not forget that. Uh, che. Handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs. I don't think I've ever used the handkerchief. Nope. Two for handkerchiefs. I'm asking Nick. I'm asking my mom for a picture of the handkerchief drawer. <laughs> Please do. Um, it's handkerchiefs, though, because one is literally everywhere. Yep. So I, mean, where, I feel like there are more places in Chicago then. I yeah, feel like I think there's not possible. a lot of well in, in the city though. There's think not there's a lot of parking any. lots in New York City. Also true. Oh, you get outside of the city. I feel like Long Island yeah. might have. They yeah. definitely just, do. Cities are just parking lots. Yeah. Kitty. Handkerchief. Handkerchief. Nikki. Hanky. Handkerchief. Hanky. Hanky's gonna move on. The handkerchief is going up against the iPhone apps to go into the finals. Wow. Nikki smokes. Shit, that's really tough. I mean, I voted against the iPhone apps last time, so I'd probably go handkerchief again. Yeah, hanky. One for the hanky, KB. Did the handkerchief. The handkerchief. Nick? I'll go handkerchief. And wow. Handkerchief? That's about to sweep it. Che? Handkerchief. 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 Hanky. I'm assuming hanky as well. Hanky going into the finals on the other side for the, uh, and getting through. Slingshots versus dry ice, a matchup everyone's been waiting for. Uh, Marty, great to get other. Yeah, it's dry Sling ice and dry and ice. Somebody would be sick. Dry ice versus slingshots. Oh, should be like a kill streaking cod. That would be so sick. I'm gonna go dry ice. Dry ice over slingshots. These are both. I would never, ever. You guys use uh, slingshots still at the office? Yeah, Nick used one today. Is it fun? Yeah, it's a blast. Really? Great. I'm gonna go dry ice then. Dry ice. I just. The, I, I don't know enough what dry ice is to want to keep talking about it, so I'm going to vote for Slingshot. You're going to vote for Slingshot? Overwhelming me every time dry ice comes up. One to one, Che? Slingshots. Slingshots? More, uh, Nick? Although, does that include the, the Slingshot car? No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> okay. All right. Nick? Because I would notice. I would love to have one of those. There's a sec. Uh, slingshots. Slingshots. KB? Yeah. Hunger Games. I'd watch it in the future, and they'd be doing this with nothing. With mm. wait, so then you're voting for Dry Ice? I thought she was an archer. Did they? Oh, what movie? Is <laughs> she was an archer. David versus a painting of David and Goliath. I don't know. It's Bart Simpson. Bart. Yeah, Bart Simpson. Yep. So you're voting for Dry Ice then? Oh, I feel like there's slingshots at sporting events yeah. a lot. The go with the t-shirts. That, oh yeah. Dry, oh, those are usually dry guns. When, yeah. Right now, there'll be slingshots occasionally. Right? We are three to two in favor of slingshots. Nikki smokes. Wow, slingshots in favor. Three to two in favor of slingshots. I'm going dry ice. Dry ice. All right, we're tied up. I think in my mind, slingshots. I, I like your dry ice should be a sweep. What? I I think in my mind, right? Slingshots. If I was looking at something like you were saying, like a David vs Goliath painting, I would definitely notice if like David just didn't have a slingshot. Maybe. I had no idea David had a slingshot. That's how he. That's he how often in, do you look at that paint? Should read the word of God, Marty. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, is he holding one in the statue of David? I think so. Like, it's a whole, that's how he kills Goliath. No, it was this, he hits him in the yep. face with a slingshot. David uh, versus Goliath is in the Bible. Yeah, and Goliath. Yes. Is, Goliath is a. Pussy, you think it was like, just a saint? I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was Greek mythology. No, no, no. no, no Honestly, no, no. saint. Da da <laughs> David is like a super biblical name. Like huh. that would be like you know is... Mistos versus something. You know what I mean? Uh, but I would think if I'm trying to think of where else I would even see a slingshot that would make me think about it, and like almost never. Bible like sounds sporting lit. goods. <laughs> the Bible said fucking slingshots. Yeah, David. Their stories. The Bible sure. is lit. You probably would love really, the Old Testament, really or probably stories. do love the Old Testament. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I think slingshots. I would. I would notice over time. Dry ice though too, because there's so many different events where dry ice is used as like for part of the performance. But I'm trying to think of what. Like, Name three. 
and you were like, oh, yep, that's dry ice right there. <laughs> I don't know. If you get a meal delivery service, then there is usually dry ice. The only ice time I got we, yeah. dry ice was from that, what's the famous pizza place in Chicago? They sent it to Dana when, and that's right. once, and it was dry ice everywhere, they, and it hurt so bad. Oh, I thought it was to the office. They it might have been the office, ton. too, yeah. Yeah, and it was all in dry ice, and like, yeah, it hurt everyone's I hands just, and shit. I don't like I would notice it in shipping. I don't like, like the idea of dry ice. Everybody <laughs> keeps talking about it. I don't know. Oh, what it's it is. horrible. Is this like giving you like a fucking like visceral like, yeah, like pain? I, just, I wish I knew ice. what this was. I'm sure I do. I'll but... send you some. I think that I would say I would notice dry ice before slingshots. So I got to vote for slingshots being I would notice it. We should still end the show on Pat today. Yeah, if, no matter what, I feel like he should just yes. still decide the final. He's, he's earned it. Uh, so on the other side, jelly beans versus home telephones. Starting with you, uh, Nikki. Home telephones, 100%. I feel like they're already extinct. Basically, yeah. Like most younger families, like older people do still use them. KB? Yeah, I don't have but a house. Th there are so many in like movies and television. Yeah, if you look about true. Jersey Shore. Yeah, but they could just Jersey call Shore. Could, the telephone. Like that'd be an easy fix, and you wouldn't be like, "Oh, that used to be yeah, a no, house phone. no duck." Phone. I'd be reminded. No of duck it. phone would be a disaster, actually. I don't think it, in this context. I don't think it wipes it from history. It's just like tomorrow they're gone in real life. Okay. I yeah. think I would yeah. know how long so until you remind. Until, how long until you remember they were a thing? Did you guys? I my. I mean, my house always had one. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, my parents yeah. abandoned it kind of early in the era because we all. It's, it's like feel much like the next day after we had all the cell phones, they got rid of the landline. They're like, why do we have this? Just call us. Um, so right now we are. That's one the bad news line, usually. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a death call. That's always yep. some, or the or the snow day call. Yeah. Or, yeah, yes, yeah. that's true. There's usually always bad though. Um, so one for home telephones, KB. Yeah, I would never notice home telephones. Maybe jelly beans. So I'll go home telephones. Two for home telephones, Nick. Home telephones. Tell telephones, Jay. Telephones are gone. But. I would go jelly beans. I really hate jelly beans. I would have went jelly beans too. Home telephones versus slingshots to go into the finals. Marty. Slingshot for sure. Slingshots for sure. Tommy? I'm going home telephones. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's just so hard. I'm really struggling. With which one do we not? Tell you really, struggling really with struggling this bracket. Uh, I'm going to go home telephone. I. You're like uncomfortable. But it's so yeah, you're, you're like beat red, bro. Uh, slingshots. Let's think about those slingshots. I, I'll go slingshot. There, there. I, if I went home one time, I might be like, oh, what happened to our home telephone to my parents? I'd never go back and be like, where's our slingshot? Mm -hmm. uh, slingshot's such a cool word, too. Oh, slingshot. great. So you did yeah. slingshot. Yeah. Yeah. He's voting for a slingshot, yeah. Two for slingshot, Shay. If the home telephone went away... Would this like motion for a phone be? Because this is not a practical. Well, I think kids work. nowadays do this to motion yeah. for a phone. Do they? Uh, what? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get that no, from? No, they do this. The kids do this for phone, and they, they do this to roll down the window. You're an idiot. What? No, I'm not. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. They do, yeah, I guess so. I think I'd still go like no, this. Bro, it's call me. Uh, no, I would go like this. Because you knew that. I mean, you never held a phone like this, though. Yeah, you did. Yeah. That, that is the Why shape are you home? holding yeah. it like that? Bro? What the it's fuck this. are you doing? You do this. No one does this. <laughs> it's this. Um, bro, his fingers don't work. It's crazy. Buddy? I think I was doing like the spider man. <laughs> Wait, okay. so this is fun. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I do that. Right? Yeah, it's fucking devil horny. Yeah. It. <laughs> Hello? Spider Man leaves his thumb out too. <laughs> What's this? It's like that. That hurt my fingers. <laughs> it's never. Skip early resident. <laughs> Uh, two for slingshot, one for ho or not for Kyle. Like your your nephew, if you, if you asked him to do, fun. I but I've seen this online. Yeah, they would probably do this. That's so right, weird. Know if that doesn't yeah, matter, authority. Then I'd do phone, home phone. That's so weird. Che, this against slingshot. Yeah, it's home home phone. Home phone for Che, Nick. There is way more home phones in pop culture than there are slingshots. I would be reminded that home phones were a thing before slingshots. Mm -hmm. Three for slingshots, KB. I would never be like, where's the slingshot? Where's the slingshot? <laughs> uh, but I could see myself telling my kid, like, oh, we used to use landlines. Yeah. And they'd mm -hmm. be like, what's that? And then I'd be like, let me show you. And then I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're completely <laughs> for a liar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, slingshot's going to move on, but Nikki Smokes? Um, I would say landline. You would say landline. Either way, slingshot versus the hanky 
going into the finals. Is this is the pa- finals? Is Pat here? Pat's here. Is this go, the go, finals go. or to go into the finals? This is the finals. Got it. So, so I bet Pat might have a handkerchief on him. So, should we, should we just like not even us vote? Like let's just let him decide like straight up. Yes, I agree. Let's just gra- go grab them. You think you can find an image or a clip of somebody holding or using both of these at the same time? Impossible. <laughs> it, no, I guarantee you cannot find a, a picture. Slingshot of that. is a two-handed thing. Has anyone ever tweeted both of those words in the same Ooh. tweet? Ooh. Oh my god! It might be a guy whose like ha- handle is on a cell phone in the car. Yeah. Don't handkerchief slingshot's kind of a fire name. Oh, I don't know. I would. Slingshot handkerchief. Um, Oh boy, I can't wait to see it. Slingshot brings all the hobbits to the yard and they're like, I forgot my handkerchief. We have to go back. Tweet it in 2013. What the fuck does that even mean? No likes on that, right? You tweeted it? No. Okay, so do you have a handkerchief, a metal bat, $20, a slingshot, preferably expired candy, a heart eraser, and three different flower seeds? So it's been a tweet. That's what this person needed. I slingshot my panties across the hall for him to keep as a handkerchief. Okay, Pat, you're coming back up. There, that's a good. That's a good one. All right, because that makes sense. Pat once again is making the decision, the final call on this one. Uh, okay, so the the idea of the bracket here is which one of these things would you be less likely that uh, to notice if it went extinct? So tomorrow this thing is gone forever. Okay. How long would it, it would take you longer to notice? Basically. Okay. So handkerchiefs, but specifically the handkerchiefs that you blow snot into. Yes, you know I remember talking? them well. Yes, yes. remember them well. <laughs> yeah, my father used to wipe my face with it. Yeah. Wait, with his booger handkerchief? No, they would lick it and then they'd wipe your face when you were a kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And that's going up against slingshots. Okay. So which one of these things would you be less likely to notice was it's gone missing. forever? Is gone from everywhere. You cannot find one ever again. I'm gonna go with slingshots slingshots you wouldn't notice yeah. slingshots no i wouldn't notice no. they'd be gone forever and you never notice them Maybe again when Makes i was sense. younger i would notice slingshots yeah but handkerchiefs would you would notice yeah handkerchiefs I'd notice. yeah uh so slingshots gonna be the big winner of the bracket episode 137 well done yet again pat okay uh and once again i don't think we actually noticed it okay <laughs> i don't think we, we uh, referenced it at the, at the end of one of the last episodes when we were talking about uh parrots yes. there was a little I bit of confusion which city would you associate with to Paris? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So Paris. I went with a northern city up near Canada. Yes. And you thought we were talking about Paris. Yes. Not Paris. That made Paris. way more sense. <laughs> yeah. what he, say? he said Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine. Oh, yeah, you guys said, weren't on that episode. Yeah. But we brought Pat in. We were yeah. like, it's actually a good question for you guys because I don't think any of you are on. What U.S. city do you most associate with the birds' parrots? Uh, Pirates. Key West. No, what city? What city? Yeah, probably- oh. Key West. West. Key West. That was West. The, that was a big answer. Pat, we Florida. brought Pat in and he said Portland, Maine. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he thought we said Paris, <laughs> and it was a big. He knew that it was a big population of French people in Portland, yes, exactly, Maine. Yeah. It all came yeah. together. Oh my god! <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's the winner. Big winner of episode one thirty seven. Things we wouldn't notice go extinct is slingshots. I love that. I think that's a great winner. Great, great yeah. winner. Uh, we'll be back next week with a brand new topic. But until then, see you guys next time. I'm going to have to bring it up. The last time the Olympics were going on, me, Kyle, and Jeff had our own parlay in the sports book. Uh-huh. And Jeff put out the special his special Olympics parlay, not thinking that it said special. <laughs> you remember that? I have a screenshot yep. of it. Oh, God. That's so funny. Dude, I, the special Can we Olympics... add Marty and uh, and uh, Clemmer to the group chat? <laughs> yeah, me as well, honestly. <laughs> throw, throw them on in there. Marty, you've paid your dues, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Not even like 20. I keep getting the Special Olympics so calling cool. me. Really? I want, what? I, That's kind of funny. Wait, the I Special Olympics out? called you? Yeah, I, I took a Yeah, you can tweet that out. Day. Yep. They They're keep like, calling me. They want me to compete. I can't, I can't figure just it out. Like they must be watching Marty versus. Special Olympics. <laughs> I used to work the Special Olympics. Wait, is it us? Is it an address? Because uh, the Bears play on Special Olympics Drive. No, it's a number. Yeah, it's a Special Olympic. I text Trent once every two years. Had to send him a text. Me, uh, I got Trent to add me to his and our my NY Times mini crossword leaderboard. Mm-hmm. Oh no, his times. Oh my God, they were so bad. Three minutes, like could. No, dude, you got to give up. After... And he, un- I made fun of him so much. He unadded me. <laughs> yeah, he texted me and said, "You guys are so mean." <laughs>